Okay, so we're going to find the optimal alignment for this matrix, all right? So first things first, what we're gonna notice, what we're gonna look at first is match or mismatch. The matches and mismatches only matter when you're looking at the diagonal, okay? So you're gonna look at, we're gonna look at the outside corners first, the C and the A, okay? First you see the C and the A, and they come together on this point. All right, are they a match or a mismatch? They're a mismatch. So you start out with zero. Take your zero and you look to the upper diagonal. Zero plus one is one. Okay, so we'll start out just looking at the letters as they are. You have the number one. Okay. All right, now you're thinking to yourself, what if I introduce a gap? So then if you look at it, gaps are negative one, okay? So with the gap, that's when you look at these numbers to the, um, the top and the side, okay? So what if I introduced a gap? If I introduce a gap here, uh, it's negative one plus zero, it makes negative one. Okay, um, if I do a gap here, it's um, negative one plus one, which is zero. Okay, now out of these three numbers that we just figured out for the, the fact that they're mismatched first, you get a score of one. If you introduce gaps, the score only goes down. So you take that score of one, all right? so. Starting here, how did, how did we get the score of one? By using the diagonal, okay? So because we, we use the diagonal, we'll start our arrow going up that way. That's how we got this guy from this guy. So we're working our way backward from here. All right, um, one of the things I'm gonna do is because I'm working my way backward, I'm going to write this backward so I can um, put them in order as I go. Okay, so um, backward, it's A, G, T, T, A. Okay, so A, G, T, T, A, going backwards, all right? Okay, so the first thing that we did, we already found out that the best thing was to just take the mismatch. We went up to the upper diagonal. The mismatch would only give us, uh, would give us a score of one. So we figure we'll just take the mismatch, which means that this, this A and this C were mismatched. So we know over here, because this is the A that we're talking about, we know we have a C here. We decided, okay, we're gonna take the mismatch. We're gonna go there. All right, okay. Now, the next step, we look at this G in this G. All right, so we're in this square. All right, G and G, match or mismatch? It's a match. So you look at the upper diagonal. Okay, so starts a match from here. Okay, so we have a match. Look at the upper diagonal. We start out with one for a match and we do one plus zero. That gives us a score of one. Okay, that gives us a score of one. Okay, now what if we introduce, what if we introduce a gap? Um, we go to the sides, okay? The top and the side. If I introduce a gap, I start out with um, negative one, so I do. Negative one plus zero is negative one. Negative one plus one is zero. So what gave us our best score? Our best, our best score is that positive one. And what did we do to get the positive one? We just went ahead and accepted this mismatch. The mismatch between, oh, sorry, the match. The match between G and G gave us the best score. So we're gonna go up. We're choosing that diagonal. Our best score came when we got it from this number, okay? 
so these two were matched. We're accepting the match. So under this G, we're accepting the match with G. Okay. All right. Moving on to the next one. All right. So now we're looking at T and G, right? That's where they come together. All right. T and G. Okay. We've got, um, we have our zero. Now T and G first. Match or mismatch? Mismatch. So you start out with zero. Look to the diagonal. Zero plus zero is zero. Okay. All right. Uh, okay. All right. Um, what if I introduce a gap? So, oh. Am I here? T and G. <laughs> Oops. Mismatch. Okay. Um, all right. So, but what if I introduce a gap? Okay. I start out with a score of negative one and I look to the top and the side. Negative one plus negative one is negative two. Negative one plus one is zero. So the best score we can get is a zero, right? But look, we got two zeros. 